we should do an introduction. Okay. Hello, this is Leela. Hi. <laughs> um, who is another makeup artist and you do a lot of film, commercial, bridal, bit of everything. Yeah. Um, and she has bought an amazing amount of makeup today and she is going to talk about I asked her to do, bring her top five things for her kit, from her kit, by the way, Christmas tree. Uh, top five things from her kit, and it is really hard as a makeup artist to pick five things professionally that you use and five things that you wouldn't be without personally. So we're gonna do professional stuff first and then personal stuff in a separate video probably. Anyway, so starting with my makeup forever brush container which i actually thought i'd lost did you get it how did you lose it um i was doing a face painting job for my friend's fifth daughter's fifth birthday party and i thought i'd taken it with me and lost it in fact i didn't take it i just put them in a pot when i was there but it's so handy i love it i have one did you get it from pam <clears throat> i got it from guru oh. yours is slightly different to mine actually i have one of these and i have one from mj uh, which is softer. Um, anyway, so basically, for those people who don't know, means that you can put all your used brushes in there and then you can put the top on and then you clip it together and then... Oh, look, I'm just going to do it to make the And then you noise. can carry your brushes home. You don't have to worry about getting makeup everywhere. They're all in there. You don't have to put them back in your brush thing. Totally essential. Yeah. I think it was about 20 quid. And they last for ages yeah. and they're great. Good yeah. choice. So that's thing uh, number one. Approved. Um, things number two, three, and four are all <laughs> sort of hygiene things. Um, ah. Antibacterial hand gel. Oh, must have. Which um, one? Is this I have this one. Is it like a super nice. drug? Tesco. Tesco, so good. I always get moisturising ones as well. Yeah. Because your hands get a bit. There's a very nice one from Body Shop that's grapefruit flavour, and I wanted to get another one but I haven't been in recently. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find a body shop. Tea tree, Tisseran Tea Tree Anti-Spot Gel. Does it work? Yeah, it's really, it's just calming. Because so it makes the, it less Yeah, it's just angry. Just, That's a really good one. Smell it, cause it's, it really smells nice. Does it smell like 90s body shop? Oh, that does to me smell like the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. And that's a really good one. So this was, this is Tisserand here. So yeah. Tisserand you can get in like Holland and Barrett, I think. Yeah. And a Garnier Eye Roll-On. What does this do? To reduce puffiness. Mm. So it's cooling. Yeah. Oh yeah, because so, it's got the metal. So I used that today. Rollerball. Um, on yourself? On myself. Oh, All so around the eye, not just underneath it. You're sort really of good. The one thing that I really not good at in my kit is stuff like blemish sticks and this. Yeah. I'm sort of, I have cleanser toner moisturizers, but I don't have specific. Yeah, of, problem solvers. Yeah, So that, and, and the eight hour cream. Um, what do you use that for? Elizabeth Arden. Mostly lip, Primates. like as a sort of, yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes a, a little bit on eyebrows to kind of tame them a bit. Um, and as a lip gloss, I, you can, I mix it with lipsticks. And Do you? Yeah. That's a good tip. So. so for those who don't know, this is like the original, isn't yeah. it? The Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. They now do like different varieties of it. Yeah, you can get it in pots and stuff. Mm. Good tips. So I think that's five. Is that yeah, five? That's, Gosh, five. that's all really good. That's like non-makeup stuff. Oh no, I forgot. Oh, Sorry, the last one, the essential Shiomura uh, eyelash you've got colours. Old ones. I've got so, silver ones. Yeah, I've got they two. are the best, aren't yeah. they? They're just so the best. Do you know what? So the reason these are the best, I feel like I'm being quite chaotic in today's video, is because they're quite. I think they're quite white, long, and flat. They're not too curvy, so they yeah. suit most people's eyes. Yeah. Um, if they're too curvy, you have to have. They only suit people with really bulgy yeah. eyeballs and then it causes trouble. That's really good because my thing about makeup is you can, if you turn up on a shoot or whatever and you don't have any makeup, you can run to Boots mm. and buy stuff, but you can't get a pen, a pen, a brush pot 
no. in boots and you can't necessarily get a good anti-blemish thing yeah. in boots and you can't get good eyelash curlers in boots, I don't think. Those are really good. So Thanks. That's my That was really amazingly top quick. You should come and film all the time. Add on. Oh yeah. We forgot one. We're adding on. A toothbrush for eyebrows. Okay. It's, it's just very it's very good for And I like the fact you've got one with the lid. Yeah, it's it's an old one from Virgin. Oh what from a plane? Yeah, from a plane. jet setter. So um, so that is a really good tip because I find quite often eyebrows are a bit yeah I'm quite specific about my spoolie size especially. yeah and and it's, they're not thick it's enough ju it's just good to have a brush yeah for your brows that's a really good one I'm, I'm very impressed 